Hey Capricorns, my Cappies. This is my second take, so I'm going to have to run through everything again. Um, and I'll tell you why this is the second take in a minute. Let me just start from the beginning. Danny Moon here, a.k.a. Karen, or you could say Karen because that's my born name. Um, a.k.a. Danny Moon, pole girl, whatever you want to call me as long as it's respectful. My disclaimers are all the cards and everything I wrote down will not resonate with all the Capricorns in the whole wide world. It just won't. But I know that these messages are for some of you out there. So um, I ask you to please um, take what you can from it. And then what you can't take from it, just give it back to the universe. Because if you can't take it, another Capricorn can, okay? Um, all my messages is about being kind, meditation, loving each other. So even if it doesn't resonate with you, my message should still be impactful in some type of way. So with that said, I ask you to please subscribe and hit the like button. Because the other day was the first time that I saw myself on the... You know, when you're scrolling on YouTube and you see the lineup and I saw myself, I was so, so happy, y'all. It was almost like hearing your record on the radio for the first time. So if you keep doing that, then I can get pushed up and bumped up because my subscriptions are going up, but they're going up slowly. But that's OK. I'm just here to help people. And as long as I reach one person, that's all that matters to me. OK, um, uh, now I had to start a second video and I'm just being honest with you is because I always tell y'all that I'm a new tarotist. It's been nine or ten months in the game for me. I just started channeling spirit and stuff like that. And um, if you go and read some of my comments from the other Zodiac, you, you should know that I really am channeling because I am not me spirit is on point with everything that is that I that's coming through me um cuz I don't know any any of these people and you can read the comments okay um so that's just my disclaimer energy can be two can be 30 days in the past 30 days in the future or your present energy that you're in right now it could also be the people around you. It doesn't have to be you, okay? So your first card, oh, and I was telling you this is my second take because I don't do reversals. I'm here only to give good news and good love and all of that juicy, good, yummy stuff, you know, and to give actual life advice. But when the card lands in front of me, like right in front of me reverse, I know that spirit wants me to tell you something. So your first card, and I'm using two decks, your first card for this spread um, is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is engagement, fertility, attraction, chemistry, new passion for life or for love, igniting a new desire, and you are going for it. So this is this is the second deck that I'm using because this has the meanings on it. Um, and then I am an intuitive reader, so I go off of how I feel and what I'm getting off of the card. Um, but I like to give you the actual meaning too. And this is the first deck that I'm using because it's super, super pretty. I love it. And you see that whatever this engagement is, whatever this chemistry is, this new love for life, this new love for a person, it is a gift from God. Do you see the hand with the cloud? It is a gift from God, okay? And it's a wands card, so it's very passionate, okay? Um, the only thing that I didn't like is what is clarifying that card is the lovers in reverse. And the reason why this is the second take is that I don't do reversals, so I had to go in the book. This is Jessica Alexander, Alexandra's, that's her name, Jessica Alexandra's book, tarot book, um, I got it off of Amazon, so you can get it too if you're into tarot. Um, and I had to read the reverse meaning. So the reverse for the lovers, for the lovers is the lovers can indicate can indicate regret in regard to a decision you recently made or the loss of someone or something you truly love and desire. I have also seen this card show up reversed for a person who refuses to follow their heart, choosing instead to make a decision based on logic and others' expectations. And I believe that because Capricorns are very structured, they... um sometimes they're so structured that they forget to give gratitude. They forget about their spiritual walk. They forget about their faith. And I don't know if forget is the right word, but they're, they're so busy with putting things together that they don't stop for a minute and know that 
you know, they don't wake up by themselves. All of this great stuff that's happening to them and for them is, yes, is because they get do hard work, but it's also because the divine, God, the universe, spirit, is nudging you and helping you and guiding your path. Always remember, if you come to this channel, you are divinely guided, okay? So you see what that says, right? You're denying some type of love or something that is something that is trying to come into your life. So um, spirit is saying, please choose wisely. Don't do that. Please don't do that, okay? Reverse one more time. The lovers can indicate regret, in regard to a decision you recently made or the loss of someone or something you truly love and desire. If you lost something that you truly love and desire, <clears throat> which could be this um, gift that God is bringing in, because remember, this is clarifying this card. So please, um, if you lost something that you truly desire, give gratitude anyway. Say thank you and ask spirit or God or the universe to just bring it back to you, okay? Maybe it wasn't your time. Um, I have also seen this card show up reverse for persons who refuses to follow their heart choosing instead to make a decision based off of logic. Yes, Capricorns, I love Capricorns. They're, they're super smart, super intelligent, all about their business, their money, their finances, about being very structured in their life. I love it. But sometimes they have to get out of that energy and enjoy life. Sometimes they have to wing things. Sometimes you have to have fun. You know, instead of everything have to be in written down and processed and structured. Sometimes life isn't like that. Life just isn't like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's not good to be that way. I'm just saying sometimes you have to have a fair balance in your life. So your next card is the hangman. And I tell people the hangman is really about um is really about spirit, God, the universe. Um trying to give you some enlightenment. Like like there must be times where you stop and say, Thank you, God, or like where did I get that idea from? Or, or you start thinking spiritually. And that is the divine trying to wake you up, trying to shake you up, trying to get you off of this vine. You're just, you're so structured that you're just sitting there. You're just there. You won't change your positioning. You won't open both legs. You see how his legs are crossed. You won't turn upright. You don't do nothing. You like everything to be one way. Um, and Spirit is saying, open your mind and your ears and your heart and listen to what the divine is trying to tell you. Your next card that is clarifying that is hard work, which is eight of pentacles. Um, Spirit is trying to say, this is great that you are a hard worker. That's what I said with the Capricorns. Y'all are very hard work workers. Y'all are very structured. Everything is like boom, boom, boom. But Spirit is saying, you don't have to be this way all the time. Work is fine. And to work a lot is kind of fine. That's fine. Just don't work. Don't overwork yourself. Take time to listen to the divine. That is what Spirit is trying to tell you. Take time. Girl, they just sent out. Um, I'm sorry, I was reading my text. Take time to listen to what spirit and God is, and the universe is trying to tell you. Because if you don't, your relationship, your life will be on standstill. It will be a, a big delay and it will be due to you. Your next card is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, I, I get annoyed with this card because if you look closely, he's so busy and there's no gender in tarot, y'all. It's just, it is what it is. It's a card. He is so busy looking at these three cups that he's ignoring this gift that God is trying to give him. Don't don't ignore spirit because you too busy in your own life. You too busy doing what you're what you doing. You know that you don't have time to stop and thank the Lord. And people people who are watching this, don't drag me in the comments, okay? I'm not saying that you don't thank the Lord. I'm not saying that. But giving thanks and giving gratitude is two different things. Um seeing and being observant of what spirit and the universe is trying to give you and you too 
focused on your one thing because it's your thing and you're so structured and a little bit of control freak a little bit that you don't see what the universe is trying to give you. Even if it's a nugget and it's this small, it's coming from the divine. Turn around and look at it and stop boohooing over this. Stop looking at this. Stop trying to keep this in a straight line. But if you turn around, you'll see there's something else that's more beneficial to you if you turn around and look at it. Um, your next cup, your next cup, your next card is the page of sword, swords. And this is the this is the other deck I'm using, the messenger of swords, swords, which is the page of swords. And this is mental agility, quick and quick and witted, witted, curious ideas. You're curious and you have ideas. You're vigilant. You're guarded. Um, com communicate, thinks first, education and fairness. I do not like how they wrote that. Um, thirst for knowledge. And that is Capricorns because y'all are very brainy, which is super great. We always need a collective. And I'm not saying no other Zodiac sign is not knowledgeable. I'm just saying Capricorns, they be on it. You know what I'm saying? You know how the rest of us be going off on our emotions and we crying and we feeling this and feeling that. They do everything with their brain, which is good to an extent. Okay. You need to, you need to feel something. You need to feel, feel passionate. You need to be passionate. You need to be you need to ignite that thing inside of you that you just drive off of your emotions and not your brain. That This is what spirit is trying to tell you. Um, and this card, the Page of Swords. Excuse me, y'all. Let me get a drink. The Page of Swords is a messenger, is a communication card. Sorry, I had dry mouth. This is a, the Page of Swords is a communication card. It also could be like a learn, it is a learning card, like a student. It could be a student, somebody who is very knowledgeable. You're reading a book right now. You're in, you're in some type of business that you're reading up on. You need to, you're looking up in something like investments, stocks, bonds, um, or this business that you're trying to create that you're thinking of. These ideas, you're starting to do the knowledge and the book work and um, stuff like that. Spirit's saying, and this is clarifying this. So spirit is saying that um, don't ignore what they're trying to give you. But when you do it, it's good that you are being a student and you're learning about it. But spirit wants you wants to know what you feel about it. How do you feel about it? Do you love it? How do you want to put it together? What is your dreams about it? How do you see it? How do you picture it? Sometimes it's not about the thought process. It's about how you the feeling you know, if you put your love and your heart and your soul into something, people will see that. And that's what, what you, how you can connect with the public. You know what I'm saying? If that is what you're trying to do with a business or something that you're learning. Um, your next card is the Four of Swords Reversed. Um, the Four of Swords Reversed is a burnout. Okay, this is the first deck that I'm using with the, with the, you know. Um, and what I feel off this card is that, like I said, y'all are thinkers, y'all are go-getters, y'all are in the boardroom, y'all are behind the desk, y'all are, mm, y'all are very attractive. That is, a, it's a very attractive quality of Capricorns to be nerdy, you know what I'm saying? And to know a lot and to be very knowledgeable. It is, but it can be a burnout, you know? And I took that word off of here, but what I feel, I feel like y'all are, um, and I said this for Sagittarius too. So you might be with a Sag or you might have Sagittarius in your chart, but, um, you are depleting your energy. That's what you're doing. You're depleting your energy by doing all this running like a hamster on a wheel. You are really just giving your energy away. It's not even being sucked out of you. You're giving your energy away. You're giving too much of your energy away. You giving your, your energy too is coming from your soul. You're giving too much of it away. And spirit is saying that you need time to rest. So this says, 
stagnation. What did I say? What did I say before I picked up this card? Because I didn't read it. I said, by not listening to the hangman card that you got and by staying still, you're just, um, your, your life is on a standstill. Your life is going to be like a delay and it's going to be because of you. And this is what this card is saying. Stagnation, um, exhaustion, passive, dormant dormant abilities so that means these abilities that i have that everybody has in this entire world including y'all that means spirit wants you to tap into your abilities spirit wants you to be an empath be clairvoyant and all the rest of the voyant and the clairs that there because these abilities there's many many of them many several of them you know um you know i'm sure y'all know what an empath is you know when you feel other people's feelings, um, clairvoyant, sometimes when you channel like I do, um, or when you could be several of those abilities, you know what I'm saying? Um, spirit is saying your abilities are dormant. Like you not even, because you know where you got to go for that. You got to go within, you got to go within your heart, within your feelings to get to, to raise that vibration up. Your vibration has to come up. Okay. Not just through your mind, not through just your structured environment it has to come from your heart from your feelings from your soul spirit wants you to um and you're feeling restless spirit wants you to get this upright and you need to rest and rest your mind spirit wants you to rest your mind please okay um what is clarifying this card is the eight of cups now remember this the four of swords is a burnout card you're doing too much the eight of cups means to walk away from something that is not serving you you decided spirit is saying you need to give you need to walk away even if it's for a little while so that you can get this upright and so that you can rest your mind we need you as a collective God forbid if anything happened to this world, the collective, the people that use their abilities are going to be here. We have to save and help help these other people. So we need you. We definitely need you. And I told the Sages the same thing. We need y'all on the front line. You know what I'm saying? But we can't do that if you're giving all of your, your energy, you're emotionally depleted. You know what I'm saying? If you're giving all your energy away to others. Okay. Now, if this go, if this is specifically for a bad relationship spirit is saying walk away walk away and stop racking your brain about it spirit wants you to rest your mind here and while in order to do that you have to walk away from it walk away from anything that doesn't serve you please it's almost time for new year's y'all happy new year's <laughs> Your next card is the justice card, upright. That means if you're in a court case or anything like that, any type of legal work, legal paperwork, you will be just and fair. It will go through. You are really good. I do feel like there's lawyers involved here. I do see a court case here. I do feel like there is a little bit of fear in you, whoever I'm talking to. You're not sure if you're going to win this. I'm feeling some type of money. I don't know about child support or something something with money something with something with money and lawyers and court spirit is saying even if it doesn't go in your the way you want it to go it will be down the middle and it will be fair what is clarifying that is the five of wands the five of wands is all about competition and conflict um i say this is probably more of competition than it is conflict but there could be conflict out there within a relationship, okay? Um, so Spirit is saying, whatever you go into, whatever legal battle that you're going into, um, don't bring the confusion and the conflict and the fussing and the confrontation to, to it. Spirit is saying, this is what you're trying to bring towards this, and don't do that. Spirit is saying, um, Spirit is saying, 
Spirit is saying this is the one time where you do need to use your brain, use your logic side. And logically, you know that you need to be still. You need to come into whatever this is with a clear mind. Okay, nothing else. A clear mind. You know how you got to know how to act. You got to know to be appropriate. You know how you got to know how to speak and you got to know how to do everything the appropriate way. Or this is what you're going to get. Conflict conflict, conflict. If this is about competition within a job, spirit is saying to be still once again, be um, assertive, but also be, um, also understand what your skill set is. You, you should only be in competition with yourself, nobody else, because at the end of the day, you're going, it's going to turn out fair for you. Okay. Your next card is the queen of swords reversed and i did have to take that out reversed means what did i say y'all spirit is in the building thank you spirit thank you i love it when what i'm saying correlates with the cards y'all this is i'm just a vessel spirit is really trying to tell y'all something this says unemotional this says calculating and unemotional, harsh, pessimistic, critical, clouded vision, abrupt, gossip, scattered, easily influenced. I don't even want to talk about this. You just need to get this upright, okay? Queen of Swords, she is quick-witted, she's sharp, she's candid, she has inner strength, she's fair, she's chatty, she's realistic, she's quirky, you know what I'm saying? Queen of Swords doesn't have her head in the clouds, she knows exactly what she's doing because she used her head and her heart, her head and emotions, and right now, this is something that you are not doing, okay? Um, and what is clarifying this is the tower. The tower is clarifying the Queen of Swords swords in reverse. And the tower is a shocking event, a power surge, destruction, bankruptcy, immediate, immediate revelation, upheaval, wipeout, divorce, sudden chaos. Now this is inevitable. Don't, don't get worried or scared about it. You are divinely guided. So don't worry about it. It's in, inevitable. Spirit has to bring something in to, in order to get your attention. Spirit has to bring something in, in order for you to rebuild. Okay. You have to rebuild. And it could be because you are um in reverse right here. At the bottom of the gorgeous deck, you have the four of pentacles in reverse. This means like you're giving your money away. This means like you could, I feel like there's investments involved. I don't, that's what I'm feeling. And spirit is saying, this is not the time. Like whatever investment, you're just going to throw your money away. You're going to lose. So please don't just give your money away. I, even if you're rich, don't give your money away. Okay. Have, make sure that you are stable. Okay, but make sure your bills are paid and everything is right on your hand. And then if you give your money away, give it to a charity, give it to somebody who needs it, especially now during during the holidays. Okay, but don't give all your money away. Make sure whatever you go into investment wise, um, business wise, that you do the work. Remember, you had the page of swords. This is a knowledgeable kid. Well, not a kid, but a person. Um, uh, this is knowledge. This is book smart. This is communication. So make sure you communicate with somebody who knows more about whatever you're trying to get into so that you can get more information. The bottom of this, this deck is the five of cups. The five of cups is, um, a loss, um, resisting grief, change. Now change comes with the tower. So there will be a change in your life. Um, emotional baggage, uh, mourning, sadness. So it's like on one hand, some of you out there are emotionalists. Um, you're unemotional. Spirit is saying you can't be that way. And then on the other hand, with this, somebody is sad out there. Somebody had a loss. 
And I'm going to tell you what I wrote down in my book. I don't, if you're new to my channel, I do channeling and I channel and I write down and it, I write down whatever spirit gives me and it comes to me really, really quickly. So I have to write it down. But I know that one of the things that I wrote down, sorry, y'all, I got to get my book. One of the things that I wrote down is that somebody is in the hospital. They're sick. They're on a, like a machine. Um, and it, spirit, I have to be honest, spirit is saying it's time to let them go. They really need to let them go. They're ready to go. So I, I don't know who that is for. That's probably for a specific person. Um, I want to say I'm sorry, but if they're ready to go, they know where they're going. They're, they're going to be in a better place. Okay. Um, so, and another thing I wrote down is something about being selfish. Please, at this time, don't be selfish because you want that person to stay here with you. If they're ready to go, you have to let them go because spirit is telling you to. Okay, the things I wrote down is someone's business is going to thrive come January, mid-February. So that could be the business I told you. I just want you to make sure that you you know, do your knowledge, do your work, please don't put your money in the wrong places. Okay. Um, someone is having a party or, um, going to an event, but there will be someone there who is sick and then everyone is going to get sick. Um, spirit is saying, don't go. And that's what I wrote down. That's exactly what I got. And I wrote that down. So just be careful. There is an argument taking place about selfishness and being organized and things going their way. I don't know. I see this to me right here is like a family thing. I feel that's going on and I, I'm i feeling family. I'm feeling like women. I don't know who it is, but all I got was like, it's about selfishness. Someone's being selfish and they're having like an argument, a scuffle. The communication is off. Um, someone is, this is the next thing I wrote. Someone is in the hospital and it's time to let them go. I just explained that to you. I also wrote down, someone is about to get an opportunity of a lifetime. Something's going to go through for somebody out there. And I think you already know it. I think you, you really already know it. Spirit is saying, stay humble. Congratulations, but stay humble and give gratitude to the universe. Um, I don't know if someone's going to a wedding, a party or something, whatever. Um, they're looking at dresses. Spirit says, pick the third dress. Don't ask me, y'all. I just write what spirit gives me. The next thing I wrote was someone is an event planner or like a party planner and their colors is going to be like pink and silver, pink and green, pink and blue, or pink and white. Spirit says any of those are gorgeous. Go with it. And then something else that I didn't write down, I wrote down table decorations. I saw spirit gave me like a table and there's a long thing you could pick or a short thing. Spirit says, pick the long thing. You might like the short thing better, but pick the long thing. I don't know if you're a planner, then you know what I'm talking about. Someone is not in the new year mood, like the new year spirit. Um, can't get out of the bed feeling down. Something about a job. Spirit is saying, Stop. Spirit is saying, just chill out. Everything's going to work out. You are divinely guided because if this doesn't come through or if the this job isn't what you want or if the job or if you're something about the job, spirit is saying in a month's time, in a one month's time, something else will come through for you. And I just now got that. Um, somebody is frustrated about a relationship, deciding to start new in the new year. And remember, you got the eight of cups. This is walk away from anything that doesn't serve you. And that means a relationship too. Um, someone is anticipating going back to work. Um, unsure if they're ready to go back or doesn't know if they even want to go back. Spirit says to make sure that every, you have your, how do they say ducks lined up in a row or something? If you don't want to go back, but you don't have nothing to fall back on, Spirit says go back. <laughs> go back. Um, just make the logic the logical choice, Capricorn. Okay, you know, if you don't have nothing to fall back on, then you need to go back. But if you have job 
line job aspects lined up then spirit says go for it you're going to be guided regardless you spirit if you open up your mind a little bit spirit is going to guide you anyway you're going to be protected don't worry spirit said get up out of that bed get up out of your mind um need to give gratitude to need to give gratitude Remember, giving gratitude and being thankful is a is this is the same, but it's a little bit different. Gratitude comes from here. When you when you saying, "Oh God, thank you," and you crying, spirit feels that that's giving gratitude. Thank you, universe, for giving this to me. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for the smallest thing in my life. That's giving gratitude. Ground yourself. Go outside. Feel the grass, even in the cold. Feel a tree. Okay, connect with nature. Um. Financial issues in a relationship. I won't want you to walk away from a relationship because you're having financial issues. If you're going to walk away, walk away because you you two have grown apart. You two don't have anything in common anymore. You two don't love each other. If you're going to walk away, walk away for a real reason. And when you walk away, make sure you come out of this stronger than what you was. Don't crumble after this, okay? Even though my Capri, my Cappies are not crumblers at all. But you know what I'm talking about. Spirit says, Spirit says, go forward with whatever you're doing. Um, stay strong and stay within your faith. Um, you got the universe card. So this is telling me the like I said, the universe has your back. The universe is on your side. Do not worry about any job loss. Don't worry about whoever's in the hospital that is about to leave. Don't worry about them. They're going to a better a better place. The universe got them too. Um recognition and reward somebody is going to get some type of something at their job they will be recognized that because they work through this whole covid mess they're going to get a promotion or a raise it's going to be great it is going to be successful for you um didn't i say within the next few months the next few months if you don't get whatever you think you're gonna get right now come january well it is january but you know come soon this week next week or whenever you go back in the next few months you're gonna have another offer on the table um spirit said don't stop keep pushing keep pushing y'all keep pushing forward i'm on 32 minutes i gotta go my new email is moon danny m-o-o-n D-A-N-N-I 1976 at gmail.com. If you want to expand on this reading, I could give you a short reading and all I ask for you to do is donate to my cards. That could be a dollar, 50 cents, $15,000, whatever you got. You know, Danny Moon will take it because these cards are very expensive, okay? So, um, and what did I tell you, y'all? Ooh, I love it when Spirit is here with me. Spirit said, and I told you earlier in this reading, there's no need to worry, no need to worry. You are divinely guided. Okay. There's something better. Somebody out there is going for one thing because you're being hasty and you're thinking only with your brain. There, It's like choices you have. I think it's only two choices. Spirit is saying there's something better. There is something better. Hold off. Wait. Um, I picked you a moonology card and it says have faith in your dreams. Please have faith in your dreams, y'all. I love you, Cappies. Danny Moon, I'm out.